market. And with the clear skies in the forecast, it's the perfect condition to see the blood moon tonight, a phenomenon that only happens every few years. So we're going to bring in Dan Riskin, a science and technology specialist, to tell us all about it. Dan, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. I hope you're well rested because tonight's going to be a night where you're going to have to get up in the middle of the night to look at the sky. And so you might not be as well rested tomorrow. So hopefully you're caught up. I know. I'm not really caught up, but it doesn't matter. I am going to set my alarm, get up a bit early. I've got to watch this blood moon. Can you tell us, okay, the lunar eclipse, explain to folks what that is. Yeah, I mean, so we all got pretty worked up about the solar eclipse that's fresh in our minds. This is the counterpart to that. It's a lunar eclipse. So instead of the Earth getting its sunlight blocked, the moon gets its sunlight blocked. And so what we'll see from our perspective is that the moon will get darker uh, because it'll be in a shadow. It won't disappear. It'll be uh, like a dark red color because there will be some light that skirts around our planet and does reach the moon, but it's almost like it's exposed to a bunch of sunsets or sunrises all around the Earth at the same time. And just like a, the, this, the horizon is a red color during a sunrise, that's the light that's hitting the moon. So the moon turns this blood red color. You don't need any eye protection. You can, you, it's perfectly safe just to look up at it. And it's the same time for everybody. Unlike the solar eclipse where you had to figure out where you were and when the eclipse was gonna go by and do I have to drive? If you could see the moon, you could see the lunar eclipse because the whole moon is in shadow. So if anywhere you can see the moon at the same time, uh, you'll be able to see this lunar eclipse. There you go. And behind me here, I've got our little chart of the eclipse when it begins. And roughly Perfect. around midnight, you know, it'll start. And then, uh, Dan, you can see here the total eclipse begins around 226. And then what, like mm -hmm. maximum eclipse, 258. What can we expect to see at that maximum eclipse time? What does that mean? Anytime between 226 and 331, so you've got a, just over an hour there, uh, you're going to see the same thing. It's going to be the, the moon is in shadow, it's totally red. So, so you don't need to try to time it for the very middle of that. But it might be nice to see the eclipse start. So what I'm going to do is wake my kids up at 215. I will regret this tomorrow. <laughs> I know I will because they're going to be grumps. But I got to do it because it's an eclipse. So at 215, the alarm's going off. I'm going to grab the kids. We're going to drag them outside. We're gonna look at the sky and what we'll see is that the moon is mostly red, but there's still a little bit of yeah. sunlight hitting it. So there'll still be this white on one edge. And then at 226, it'll become totally eclipsed. And I'll say, okay, we can go back to bed because this isn't gonna change for another hour, but you saw it, get back to bed. And so that's <laughs> uh, that's my plan for tonight. We'll see how it goes. We'll and I also have a camera with a big long lens. So I'm planning to get a couple pictures of it as well. That's so great. And it's great to know that you don't need any special equipment to observe this lunar eclipse. What about, um, tell us about the Firefly Lunar Lander and how that is also gonna experience this eclipse and what that means. Yeah, so uh, a couple of landers landed on the moon this month. One of them fell on its side and broke, so mm. we don't have to worry about that. The other one did not. The other one stuck the landing. That was March 2nd that it landed. And so it's on the moon, and it's going to be experiencing this lunar eclipse. But if you're on the moon, it's not a lunar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse, which is, is crazy. But if you think about what you would see from the mm -hmm. surface of the moon, you'd see the sun in the sky, yep. and then the, it would be eclipsed by the Earth. And that's exactly what that Firefly lander is going to experience. So, yeah, we don't need any special equipment here on Earth, but there's some very specialized equipment on the moon, and I look forward to seeing what kinds of images or videos come from that, because that has been part of their plan, is to capture this, this moment, and uh, I, I just it's neat to imagine what an eclipse would be like if you're sitting on the moon. Oh, the celestial event happening tonight, the lunar eclipse. I gotta thank you, Dan Riskin, CTV uh, News, science and technology specialist. Thank you so much for filling us in here, and good luck with the kids, okay? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is where I really need the help when they're grumpy because they didn't get enough sleep. But thank you very much and enjoy. Thank you.